Hey what's up guys, my name is Jack and welcome back to another Android tutorial video. In this tutorial, we are going to look at a plugin called Button 9, developed by Jack Wharton. I have included the links below just in case you want to check it out because this guy definitely deserves a cookie. In short, Button 9 is actually an alternative for find view by ID method which is basically to allow you to you know, interact with the views programmatically in your Java classes. You can see it in action by checking out my previous video. Trust me guys, it's a huge time saver and it also works well with tidy people you know, like me because you wouldn't have to write too many codes. So what I'm going to do later in the video is that I'll first demonstrate the find view by ID method and followed by the button knife method. Well, let's get started. As you can see guys, I have created 10 different buttons and I'm going to show you right now how we can assign it with find view by ID method. First, we need a private button variable and assign it with find view by ID method. Let's do this. What we need to do now is to repeat the steps for the rest of the buttons. Very simple. One eternity later. Almost done, guys. Just one more button is left. Almost there. Oh gosh, finally. Now, where was I? In order for us to work with button knife, we need to first import the plugin to our project via Gradle dependencies. To do so, simply navigate to your Gradle scripts, open up build.gradle file, make sure it's the one with module app. Under dependencies, type compile com.j Wharton button knife 7.0.1. Once you're done with that, click on the signal link and we are all set to use button knife. Same thing, we are going to create 10 different private button variables, but this time with the bind keyword. Now instead of typing find view by ID for 10 freaking times, all we need to do is to type button knife dot bind in bracket this right after the set content view method. Yep, as simple as that. It's easy to set up the onclick listener for a button as well. You just need to use the onclick keyword. In bracket, we need to specify our button. Let's say button 1. Then give your function a name. Say um, on click button 1. And we are just going to show a toast message in this case. We are done. Let's try to see if it works. Looking good. Now let's try to click on the first button. It works. That's it guys. If you like the video, please hit on the like button, share it to your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more professional tutorial videos like this. Peace.